Okay, welcome to another video. My name is Tyler. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the founder of ScaleLocal.com, and we help small businesses scale up to big ones. In today's video, we are going over lead generation and how to get leads coming into your local business. Okay, so the first thing we need to go over is what is a lead? Because there are a lot of different definitions of what it means to get a lead being thrown around in the industry. Some people say they're getting leads when they're getting clicks to their website. A click is not a lead, okay? A lead is when someone gives you their information, usually name, phone number, and email, saying that they are interested in coming in for your services. That is what we are defining as a lead here today. Now, I'm gonna keep this really simple for you guys. If we want to get leads, there are two main steps. Step one is we need to get our offer structure right. Okay, step two is once we have our offer, we want to put our offer in front of as many people as possible. Okay, offer structure, get it right. Once you have the offer, put it in front of as many people as possible. Now, in today's video, we're mainly going to focus on step one because I did do another video all about step two, which I'll link down below. So let's talk offer structure. Okay, so what is offer structure? In its simplest terms, offer structure is the sequence of offers that we make to our prospects and our clients through their journey. Okay, let me give you an example. Let's say we own a gym because gyms are usually good for easy examples. All right, we own a gym. Our first offer that we might make to a prospect might be a free trial to our gym. So let's say we have a free seven day pass. We present that offer to them. That would be considered our front end offer. Now the prospect comes into the gym, let's say they like the facility and they purchase a membership. The membership would be a back-end offer. So let's say they're spending $30 a month on a gym membership with us now. Okay, let's say they're in the gym for a month, they meet a personal trainer at the gym and the trainer is able to sell them on a personal training package, okay, for $100 a session. That would be another back-end offer. So all of these offers that we are presenting to our customers would be considered the offer structure. Some marketers might call this the value ladder. It's pretty much the same thing, okay? It is the sequence of offers that we are presenting to our prospects and our clients. Okay, so when it comes down to getting leads, the most important part of our offer structure is by far the front end offer, our first impression, the first thing that we offer to people. Most people, they assume that strangers and referrals are the same thing and they're totally different things, right? If someone is a referral and they're coming into your business and you're growing the business through word of mouth, they are a lot different than someone who has never heard of you before because there is a level of trust with that referral. The referral trusts the person who referred them, okay? So if you're growing through word of mouth, someone told them about it, someone told them about your business and they trust you already immediately. Okay, so they're coming into the business with a level of trust. So for that person, your offer structure could be broken and you could still get some leads. So you're going to get some leads. You're going to get some inquiries without having offer structure right. But if you want to grow beyond your current connections and you want to get more leads than you can handle coming in, then you need to get offer structure built for strangers, for people who have never heard of you before, for people who do not trust you at all. So how do we do that? we focus on the front end offer. We focus on making the front end offer extremely juicy. <laughs> and I don't have another way to put it. Okay, here's one more metaphor for you. Let's imagine we're going fishing, okay? And if we just throw a hook out into the ocean, are fish gonna swim right into the hook? Maybe a few, maybe some dumb fish might swim right into the hook. But if we throw out our hook and on the end of that hook, there is some juicy bait, okay? We're going to catch a lot more fish, right? So the front end offer is the bait. The front end offer is how you're going to get new leads coming into your business over and over and over again. And if you crack this code, all of your advertising will start to work because you can use that offer in all of your advertising. You can put it on your website, you can put it on your Facebook ads, you can put it on your Google ads, you can put it everywhere. And all of your advertising is going to start to work much, much better. You're going to get way more leads because you figured out what people are attracted to, what people want, what people are willing to trade you their name, phone number, and email for in return, okay? And if you figure out what that front end offer is, all of a sudden you crack the code and you'll always get leads. So what I am going to leave you with today is four principles 
to construct a strong front end offer that gets your business leads. Okay. Principle number one is to understand that the first session or the first offer you make to people is not to make money. The goal of it is not to make money. That is not where you're going to make your money. You're going to make your money from the back end of the offer structure, right? The goal of the front end, the goal of the first session is to get a large volume of people coming into your pipeline, getting a lot of people coming into your world, which will make it so much easier because now you can continue to make back end offers over and over and over again. Business is really hard when you have ups and downs and inconsistencies and unpredictability. And the main thing that solves that is having a full pipeline of people that are interested. And the way to do that is by having an irresistible front end offer. Okay. Which leads us to principle number two, where the offer needs to be irresistible. Okay. The offer should be something of value. Don't just do a basic offer like, uh, like every other company does. Most of your competitors probably just do a free estimate, a free consultation, a free trial, something that's just so generic, a free quote, right? Everyone does the same thing. If you can stand out from the crowd and come out with an offer that seems super irresistible to someone, and it doesn't have to be free, it can be like a discounted first session. Actually, we've seen, we see paid offers work better than free offers all the time. I like them better because they can pay for the ad spend, right? And then we can break even and basically we can grow the business for free, essentially, right? So I like paid offers as long as it still seems it needs to be perceived as an irresistible offer, as an amazing deal. If you can make an irresistible offer, you will get leads like crazy, okay? So principle one, the goal of the first offer, the goal of the first session is to not make money, it's to get people coming in. Principle number two, it needs to be an irresistible offer. It needs to be perceived as irresistible and perceived as super valuable. Principle number three is the offer, the front end offer should lead into the full solution. It should lead into the back end offer. You need to have a process in place to sell the people that are coming in from the front end offer into something on the back end. The overall goal is not to not make money. We're still trying to make money here, okay? It's just the goal of the front end offer is to not make money. The goal of the front end offer is just to get people in, okay? The, goal, the overall goal is to make money. So we want to have a process built to take them from a person from the front end who's just coming in to actually buying product, buying our services. Okay, so you need to have a process built in place, a sales process that you take them through. Do not skip out on this. Do not just assume that getting people in the door, people are going to ask to buy your stuff. Do not just assume that. Have a process in place for it. That's principle number three. Principle number four is to keep it simple and only do one offer at a time. Entrepreneurs have entrepreneurial ADHD and they continually want to add things. They want to add multiple products, services, offers. They want to tell the world that they have all these different things. And they think that adding more is going to make them more money. When in reality, it's better to usually consolidate it and focus on one main thing. Okay. People that are confused do not take action. A confused mind does not buy. A confused mind does not make decisions. So what you're doing when you have all these different things is you're confusing people, okay? So keep it simple. Do one offer at a time. Figure out which offer is the best one to use and go all in on that offer. You can have multiple ones that you change throughout the year seasonally, but go all in on one offer at a time. And not only is the buyer going to be less confused, but your staff and the operations of your business are going to be simpler. And it's going to make your sales process perform better as well because no one's confused. All right. So it just makes everything better when you do one offer at a time, keep it simple. And that is what you're going to do on the front end. Okay. So four principles for an amazing front end offer. Number one, the goal of the first session, the goal of the front end offer is to get people in the door, not to make money. Number two, is the offer needs to feel irresistible. It needs to have perceived value. Number three, the offer should lead into the back end offer. The front end offer should lead into the back end offer. And you need to have a process in place for this. And then number four is you're going to keep it really simple and do one offer at a time. Okay, so if you remember from earlier in the video, we talked about the two steps to always getting leads coming into your local business. Step one is to get your offer structure right. Step two is to put your offers in front of people. Right about now in the video, you should understand offer structure.
Okay, so you should understand how to create a front end offer that's irresistible, that's going to get leads coming in. So you're about halfway there. Now, step two is to take that offer and put it in front of as many people as you can. Now, I did a whole video on this called the buyer's circle, and that'll show you the three different segments of buyers that you're going to put this offer in front of. I'm going to link that video right here. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share it with a friend. Thank you so much for your time. Talk to you soon.